Hello everyone. Sorry for the strange voice, but I have none at the moment and am making do. That being said, in today's video, we're going to be taking a look at a question I received last week about getting ground units to pause for a moment as they are making a trip from one place to another. I pondered this problem for a little while and came up with three basic approaches. Using a set of speed changed waypoints, using a mission which is something that will require a target to work easily, or using some kind of Lua scripting. Since Lua scripting isn't really something you can do in situ, I figured to go with the simplest method. What we have here is a mobile group consisting of three generic vehicles along the Mexico-US border. I'm going to have them approach the border and then move very slowly for a bit before charging across it using a combination of three waypoints. The first will consist of the initial position, the second will be a short ways away, but with the speed set incredibly low, and the third will be our let's go to finish the move. The thing that makes this tricky is that our first waypoint will be set to the minimum speed, while our initial throttle will be set to full. If we want to control exactly how long we pause, we can simply do the division. We can also make a little holding box for our folks to wait in if we don't want to travel very far. Many clever experts on modern warfare will point out that a moving ground unit is easier to detect than a still one, but the reality is that if you're detectable by something like an E-8 J-Star with its side-looking airborne radar, it won't matter if you're going fast or slow. As long as you're out there, it'll have little difficulty in finding you. Even the Fox Flat, Champol, radar on a MiG-25 RBS can pick up a ground vehicle at a reasonable distance even if it is not moving. We'll now take a look at a different option where we'll use a delayed mission to have a unit pause and then get moving. The setup here requires that our ground units start out of range of their targets, otherwise they'll simply start firing the moment we give them the go-ahead. To do this, we'll set up a basic strike mission as usual, but either add a start time or, if we prefer, a time on target. It is important that we set the mission as inactive before we start going to town on the details, otherwise we may run into issues where it tries kick off the mission before we are completely ready. You can see here how we ordered the ground units to move and at the prescribed time, they got rolling again once more towards the target zone. As you can see, the two methods work fairly well for a delayed move and there is no real reason why you can't use this same method for the purposes of controlling submarines or ships. Aircraft are a little tougher, but the general principle remains the same. Other than that, enjoy and thanks for watching.